I'm just so blessed to be able to say that I'm here now as a unconditional college student, just because of the fact I'm older now. Hi, uh, my name is Chaz, Chaz Powell. I am a first generation student, I'm what they call an unconventional or untraditional college student. I'm 28 years old and I'm in my first semester of college officially, yay. So a little bit, uh, bit of a background about my experience here has been absolutely, honestly amazing. Um, I really, really love community college specifically just because of all the resources here, especially Pitt Community College. Pitt Community College just has so many resources here that'll get you to where you need to go, wherever that may be, um, whether that's counseling or maybe even career support, you name it, if you don't know how to use a computer um, or a certain program, there is a program, there's a resource here for you. They will point you in the right direction, which is really, really awesome. I have a little bit of my experience, so I obviously, after high school, went straight into the workforce. Um, and I, it was a financial situation as to why I didn't go directly to school. I really know what I'm here for. I'm making a, an intentional decision to be here and I'm really getting the most out of my time here because of that, because I am here intentionally and because I'm 28 years old and I have that worldly experience with fresh numbers and in the workforce. So my advice really to any first gen student, conventional or, or traditional, excuse me, traditional or not, um, is to simply just never, never give up, man. Like you you have all you need. Never cut yourself out of an opportunity because of what you think may be an obstacle for you. Because truth be told, you never really know how God works. Um, if you believe in that kind of thing, that higher power, but you never really know what will happen. Because where there is a will, there is a way. And you just gotta make the first step and everything will kind of like help you make the second and third steps. So there we go.